Hi guys, welcome back. So yo, we just showing you how we're setting up to diagnose this BMW. You can see we have a timing kit over here. So please be advised because of copyright reasons, we have music playing over music. So what I mean by music in the video and then background music, but you will soon figure that out. So yo, we're just showing you photos of a timing kit and we have all the timing kits you need for Mercedes, for Opel, for Subaru, for you know, you name it, Toyota. And we obviously have our other toolkit that's multi-purpose, you know, it's a 56 in one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a perfect tool to use on vehicles, you know, where you can get into those fine places and just do your thing. So yeah, we're showing you some dial gauges of our small diagnostics that uh, use Bluetooth and some fault codes, obviously the red, what is what is needs to be drastic attention. They we obviously fixed and cleared and that is what pops up, which is the throttle body. And that is why we are now gonna move this video is basically about the throttle body so we're gonna slowly move into that we're just showing you here the car being timed making sure everything lines up and everything is perfect so now i won't be talking anymore as a voiceover and you will be listening to the voice in the video Raw footage. First thing that you need is music. So this is my favorite station, 947 Joburg. Check it out. So I'm gonna start out too. And what we are gonna do now, we're gonna diagnose the throttle body. So this is an electric throttle body. Any modern car has a uh, military, we can see this is from BMW. So let's dive right into it. So what we're going to need is what we have right here rather. We have a power supply, which is this bad boy over here. We have uh, your kaita plugs and we have a voltmeter. So we're not going to really explain to you what to do with this thing. We're just going to get into it and explain while we go along. So firstly we're going to open the throttle body and by doing that we just going to have to unclip these few clips that goes right around. Okay that was actually funny but um, let's keep it raw, always keep it raw. So we're going to go over to the next one and we're going to maybe tell you what not to do. So don't shoot it and not just keep your hand on top of it to hold it there while you remove the clip. If you can't get it to one side, always try the other side. That sometimes always works, if you know what I'm saying. So there we go, it didn't shoot off. And that is now. So now basically there's more clips actually that goes around. But just to speed up things for the video sake, I decided to just put it to one. So basically now also, you can notice this is where the plug will be will go in from your main uh, loom in other words the wiring from your car and that will send the signal that signal will then travel through the, the, the points over there into your housing to your throttle body and this housing is basically to cover the gears over here so we'll get back to that now i just want to explain this to you Maybe I should just put this a little softer so that uh, I don't have to talk so loud. Maybe I should put it louder. Okay, like just joking. So anyway, so let's get back into this. So what this is for here, this is basically coils, wind it up. And that basically regulates the voltage and which will determine the position as to where the gears need to be. Or in other words, your butterfly, actually this is the main part of the throttle body. Your butterfly gear, which opens up so as you give petrol by your pedal when you give gas in other words inside the car it will give power 
and it will basically that power will determine how much the butterfly gear will open and this allows air to come in which will then mix with a specific amount of fuel to basically cause the combustion and to make your engine run efficiently so let's just go back into this again so basically we can see from this design here we have the two points basically the coils are connected to both points over there and those points are then will be go will fit into here and basically that is what will power this motor over here which is the small gear which will power this big gear over here to basically power the gear which is at the back here for the butterfly gear to open so there's also a spring mechanism here so you can see as it opens it will always bring it if i let go it will go back to its original position i'm hoping that you could see all of that so let's get back to it in fact i'm tired of taking so many takes you know you want things to be perfect you never end with whatever it is you're gonna do so firstly what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna remove this clip over here the last clip and obviously you can see there was quite a few of that went around to keep this housing over there right? and this housing obviously like it only set the signal through for where the butterfly gear needs to be in order for it to give enough air to accelerate your car so when you give basically 20 percent on your pedal on the inside of your car basically your gas so your accelerator pedal then 20 percent of this will open in order to give the amount of air needed to mix with the fuel to basically propel the car i'm hoping that you guys can see everything like you can see i'm doing it in a white shirt so i'm trying to keep things neat but also be different so let me remove this clip and we let's work on 20 percent when you get 20 percent from the accelerator pedal in your car that is so what will happen is 20 percent will come through now if i say 20 percent i refer to 20 percent of the let's say of the voltage so we, we all know that anything on your car works on 12 volts necessarily so basically if you have 20 percent of that you will yes you give it up say so basically the 20 percent will come through here or will then go to these coils over here which will then direct the power necessarily to power this gear or motor over here 20 percent in order to move the butterfly gear which is all these gears are connected to but we'll get to this right a bit, right in a second so basically you can see here there's just connectors over here and what happens is this housing obviously has a rubber on there to protect the, the gears and everything when it's closed from water and so on um, but yeah so let's put that aside so what happens is those two connectors which are these two over here now the power goes to will be connected to this motor over here you can see the small gears where the motor is connected and we will soon put power onto it to show you how everything works so basically what happens is this gear will turn a bigger gear which will then turn a smaller gear in order to open the butterfly gear and then there's also a spring here on the gear or on the shaft limit on the side so they're gonna let go or when you let go of a pedal it returns to its original position so yes so now let's get to the important part and let's put some power to this thing so here we have like i told you the power supply so we're first going to check that we do have power so we're going to use the gator clips over here just to transfer the power to the points on the voltmeter and then to this because the reason being is because we need to get inside this over here to power the motor right? so you must remember now that we are working with dc and what that means is it's direct current 12 volts so we're going to set it to 20 this is a volt meter and this is basically going to tell us the volts now what's happening when everything is, is powered and also yes we will, we will be able to read measurements so we we'll just move all the stuff aside so that we don't have any disturbance over here so you can see now if i have to touch this onto the points obviously we know that the red is positive and the black is negative when it touches on the points you can see that we have roughly about 11.4 volts okay that's good enough for us so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these gator clips and i'm going to connect it to the 
power supply. So you must be careful to not let the, 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 the positive and the negative touch because we all know what will happen if that does happen. So now we want oops. We need to be prepared for everything eh? in this life. So basically what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just connect our negative or our positive rather to our one terminal over there at one point and then obviously we're gonna do the same with the negative. So there we can see we have 12, 12 volts. Now obviously what I can also show you is what not to do is but because it is 12 volts and it's DC I'm, I can do this you know and that is why you won't shock I'm touching it and you won't shock because a direct current that only flows in one direction so let's get back to what I was about to explain so basically now it doesn't also matter on the motor as to where the positive is and where the negative is I will find that out determining on which way the butterfly will spin so also what you notice over here is the reason why we have different kind of gears is, is cause for a reduction of gears in order for the force to be very easy in order for me to turn you know the small gear turns of such a big large gear you know so we can see over here we have two points which will be the stop pillar so if I move this gear to its furthest point uh, when, you really, when you put the pedal flat down on the car it touches the point over there and that is where it will stop so no matter how much power is going to the motor it will still stop there because that is basically the limit and then we have one at the bottom also so it can't go lower than that so okay so let's determine now which side is positive and negative so we're going to connect the two terminals and we can see we actually got it right the first time here we can see that it's opening all the gears are working perfectly fine and you can see it's touching the stop point so now also if i have to switch it around the only thing that will happen is obviously it's on its lowest limits already so that means it can't go this is the reason why i like the station but you see what happens it's on its lowest limit and can't go any lower so there you have it how a throttle body on a bmw works so the reason why we opened it because we had some water damage in here and that is why we're just analyzing it as to how it works